Hello and welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. Today we're taking a look at our identity recognition video. Now this is available on our website presentermedia.com. If you have access to the internet from where you are now, you can go ahead and go straight to our site. And if you click on the drop down under our search options and you just type in the word identity, you're going to go ahead and get that video. We are working with the Windows Media format, so it is a WMV. We went and clicked on the download link here and we saved it to our desktop. And then we continued to use insert video located the video and inserted it into our presentation. Now I'll go ahead and play the video so you can just get a feel for how it is that it plays out. You can see that we have a digital database loading in the background. It moves to the next slide over and then you have a group of images that play. The goal is during the position at 11.9 to have it so our actual photograph or portrait is going to display in this white box. We're also going to use an animation effect to have this text come in in a individual text animation. So the first step that we have to go through is to locate the spot on the video that we want it to pause. Now we're just going to go ahead and select the 11.9 range roughly here. All right, now we do have the white background. In order for us to hold this image, we do have to add a poster frame. So go ahead and click on Format under your Video Tools, Poster Frame, and then Current Frame. This will hold the video's position here. We are going to get rid of that poster frame, however, once we finish this project. The first thing I've done is created a simple dark box. This is just so we have something in the background that's going to guarantee no white background showing up. The next thing I'm going to add is our portrait. All right, so now we have these two items. We're now going to group them by going to right click and group. Next, we're going to animate this image. Now this is all happening as a single image. We don't have to worry about animating each item separately. We're going to use an animation and it's called the dissolve effect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use that. If you click on preview, you'll be able to see the animation itself come in. Next up, we are going to have the animation set to play at a certain bookmark. So we need to insert a bookmark. Again, we're going to be using that roughly 11.9 position. Go to Video Tools, Playback, Add a Bookmark. Now, at this point, we want the items to start dissolving in. So we're going to open up the animation pane. And for their entrance, we're going to select Trigger on Bookmark 1. So that means once this bookmark starts, we're going to be able to have the item start coming into play. Let's go ahead and preview that. Again, it's going to wait until it gets to that particular bookmark. So we'll have roughly 11 seconds of the actual animation playing through before our picture comes in. Next up, we're going to go ahead and add our text box. We're going to insert a second bookmark, and we're going to have the text come in when file found pops up. I'm going to go ahead and change our poster frame so I can use that location to be able to get my text put in place. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size just a little bit here. All right, and now we're going to add its own animation. We are going to use the appear effect, and this is going to make each individual letter type in almost like a typewriter would. Now, this is not able to get set up under the effects options. You do actually have to go through the drop down list and go under the effect options there. Under effect enhancements, it'll ask how you want to animate your text. Instead of having all at once, drop down to by letter. 
and you can specify how long you want to delay between each letter. I will tell you that the longer the phrase is or the longer the name, the shorter delay you're going to want to have. This will just be able to make it be able to come in in a more practical manner. So we want our name to start showing up right about here. We're going to go ahead now and add a trigger. And that's going to be on bookmark number two. So let's go ahead and add our second bookmark. And this text box, the animation is on the right. So let's go ahead and get that trigger applied. And preview that again. So now we should have the database load. We'll have all of the images scanned through. And then about at the same time, we're going to have our image show up followed by the text. Now if you notice the text came in a little bit on the slow side, so what we're going to do is reduce the amount of time that we have between each individual letter. There is a certain amount of trial and error for this. So just play around with it and find something that works really well for you. We're also going to extend the delay on the picture coming in. And now let's go ahead and play the actual slideshow so you can see how it would look in reality. So we have our database coming in. And now we'll wait as it shifts over. We go through all of our images. Remember, we do have a one second or a two second dissolve in for that picture. And then we have the name coming in as well. This tutorial was brought to you by Presenter Media. Again, my name is Kara. And thanks for watching.